return to the adventures of Papa Anastasius the fourth the cruel of house D uh yesterday we corrupted a lot of the uh, a lot of the papacy and basically funded our own family right we gave we gave Latium we gave a lot of titles we gave everything to Cardinal Sambo our cardinal nephew and half brother um cardinal nephew comma half brother not all of those are the same otherwise that's very confusing so I, oh first things first people are asking for the love of lab mod that is going to come soon. The Brexit video I put up yesterday uh, was kind of me testing the waters a little bit with, with sort of censoring images on the screen, seeing how YouTube would react to that and swearing like a fucking sailor. Uh, but that seemed fine. That, that went through okay with, with no real complaints. Granted, it's not really much of a test. Um, but the next one, in, in theory, we're going to be starting that series soon. So Series A will be coming back into full force. Today then. Oh, and yesterday's episode went up early. It was supposed to go at 5 p.m. and it went up at 5 a.m. It doesn't matter. Well, it's not important. Point is, today we're going to try and we buffed up our family. We're going to try and buff up Rome. We're going to actually try and buff up the papacy itself by trying to get a bit more external power, bring some things under our realm. I want to see how much we can really abuse and get away with it. Oh, I actually want to test out. If I do that, it's going to break everything, isn't it? It just doesn't work. Okay. Ooh, okay. I just wanted to double check that. The temptation is no longer there. The temptation has been removed. It's now out of my hands officially. So one thing I wanted to test then is, uh, A, we've got this papal button, which we weren't able to use last time. But now there's, uh, we can adjust indulgence policy and we can adjust baptism policy. So let's take a look at that very... Uh, oh, look at this. Um, I get many requests for indulgence. I will take care of all of them. And then we also want to go to the baptism policy and also accept the same thing as well. I know what I'm doing. So we want to make sure that we get all the requests possible. I believe that's how it was anyway. We actually haven't had any requests for indulgence. Um, but we want to get basically everything we can. Because that's obviously money coming our way. I don't know if the game will automatically deal with it. And we'll still get the money. Or whether we do have to manually do it to get any benefit from that. Obviously it makes sense if it was the latter there. So the one thing I want to try realistically is, A, hey, uh, what happens if we had to communicate Pisa? Can we then declare war on them for their lands and try and bring that under papal lands? Bear in mind, we do have the... There's a kingdom level title, isn't there? Is, that, is it just called the Papal States? No, it's definitely not that one. Uh, what about you? Papal States. Yeah, so look, we've got a kingdom level title, and that will eventually flip over to the Empire of Italia. So I feel like that should probably be our first goal. Now, that will obviously involve going to war with the HRE, but we could just maybe mark him as excommunicated, send someone else after him. So, for example, France might request claims, send France after them. While they're dealing with France, we can move in and swoop out Italy. But obviously, Pisa is a really great start on that, given that they are independents right now, and only a couple of provinces there as well. So let's go for immediately. Um, should we just hit him with an excommunication? It costs us 125 pairs if viewed as an insult by his relatives. But will anybody really care? Uh, we, we can't get any trouble for it. Maybe it'll piss people off. Um, did I just request papal investiture? Okay, well, let's see what he says anyway. And we're going to... Oh, right. We're also carrying on our Magnum Opus. Don't forget as well. If he says no, then we'll excommunicate him. And I feel like then we're a bit more justified. Oh, okay. So we sent a donation. That's another thing we can abuse. Basically asking everybody who hasn't got it papal investiture. We should be doing that anyway, realistically. Um, but on, on the plus side, they might give us some gold. And I assume that means we can't do it again. We could just do it over and over and over, really. But it, it costs us 150 piety. Uh, but to be fair, if they've got the gold to pay for it, then... You know, of course, there's, uh, there's really no downside to keep doing. It's basically swapping piety for gold or maybe getting a bit of power over a realm. So either way, it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. We should treat piety more as a, uh, a currency rather than something to hoard like you would with uh, prestige. Okay, uh, and now you get to communicate because you've refused twice to change our laws. Nobody bribes the Pope and gets away with it. So can we now declare war? Look at that, we can. Okay, um, so we can say it's communicated ruler. What does that do for us? If we... Uh, if we do that, it just opposes of him. Okay, that's quite good if we want to, say, push claims and get rid of a ruler to replace with a new one so we're not at truce with them anymore. I actually want to take their stuff. So we get border dispute them. Um, we need 300 piety and 323. He just paid us to border dispute him, and I, I feel like that's incredible. Now, the best part is we could just... I suppose we could declare war. Oh, right, you can't declare war to obviously depose excommunicated rulers because that would require breaking a truce to go to war. I guess someone else might get rid of him. Um... What happens if we lift the excommunication? Will that make him like us a little bit more? I was going to say, maybe there's some mechanics we can abuse there. You know what? No, we're just going to stick with this. Uh, border dispute seems a bit of a waste of time right now. I want to get claims, but I feel like getting claims as the Pope and actually increasing the power of uh, of of the Papal See is going to be fairly tricky. I feel like fabricate claims is the only way we can do it. Normally, obviously, you'd say, hey, Pope, give us some land. Can we grant claims to our dynasty members? Uh... We could grant him independence. That would be interesting. But no, we do want to stay under Rome because that gives us a bit more a bit more freedom, weirdly enough. Um, I don't there's any way I can grant claims, is there? No, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, okay, then. Let me go take a look, see where would be a better place to 
branch out to first. There we go. Okay, Magnum Upsilon Universe Panacea level 3. That's pretty nice. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at that one. That was the one that gives us plus 1 health, isn't it? Um, let's just take a look. Uh, oh, 0 0.25. Sorry, my bad. Uh, there is a quality 4 one, but I think we fucked that one up very slightly. I think it's because his learning is only like 23. I mean, I guess Lunatic Possessed Stress could have also played into it there. So, my question is, what happens when we die? Are we going to lose all of our Papal Artifacts? Because if they just get... I mean, they might pass on to the next Pope rather than our dynastic successor, and I assume that they absolutely will pass on to the next Pope rather than our dynastic successor. So we might just be right now building up the uh, building up the power of the Pope uh, rather than, obviously, our dynasty, but hey, that doesn't matter too much. What about the Ecumenical Patriot? Uh, what about getting some, some of the, uh, I don't know, like the Crown of Thorns or something from... Oh, man, I don't even know where to start with the, with the Holy Wars. Oh, no, that is interesting. We can press du jour claims because we already have it from the kingdom level title um then all we've got to do is obviously make the empire italia that would give us claims on what like it does venice count as italia it does um you get venice we get sardinia corsica pisa that'd be quite nice and then obviously sicily as well oh no that's that is byzantine empire wow so the empire of italia is actually quite small isn't it um yeah that's pretty pathetic that's okay though that's not too bad um right so i think first things first then excommunicate the Kaiser. Now, another player I was thinking of that we could potentially do here. Swear fealty. And then we could use the... Uh, one more part of that, we can use the Holy Roman Empire, whatever it's called. The, the, the Imperial Society, Imperial Court. That's it. We could use that to really corrupt our way to the top of the ladder. Be kind of fun if we could unify the Papal State and the HRE as one title. The only issue is they do follow different succession systems. Obviously, Papal State is an investiture, whereas the other one would still remain primogeniture. However, or whatever it is right now, probably elective uh, gavel kind. We could throw that title to our dynasty members, right? Because that would still be dynastic. So we could give the HRE doing that system to our dynasty members and kind of use the papacy as a stepping stone up to that. But that kind of defeats the point of doing a papal series, right? So I guess we will excommunicate him, see if anyone's willing to clap his cheeks, and then we could move in on his titles while, say, France goes to war with him or something like that. Interesting. So if we want to propose a vote as well, we actually do need the church influence. I thought it might be reduced for the Pope or something like that. Um, or maybe the Pope is the only one who can do it. I don't believe that's the case, though. So we still need to build up influence with ourselves, weirdly enough. I do like the system, though, being an on-map, off-map power that also interacts with yourself. That's kind of cool. We can impress ourselves with piety. Again, it's just swapping out piety, really, for the church influence. We can't write another paper. Maybe we're in the middle of that right now. Damn, I wish there was a way to trade money for supporters. So we could trade piety for money and then money for supporters or directly trade... Actually, what's a better conversion ratio? So it's 300 for 100 influence or we buy for 200 gold 100 influence. Uh, but for 200 piety, could we not suggest papal investiture? So in theory, it'd be cheaper to go and ask if possible for, for papal investiture from people and then use the money we get from that to buy supporters. Does that make sense? Um, it's a bit of a long way around to do it. Shit, there's a lot, there's no one at least nearby that can even accept papal investiture. Yeah, there's no options. I think basically everybody already is. That's a shame. Okay, we'll try Barcelona very quickly. No, they are also against it. Okay, fine. So we've already got papal investiture everywhere. To be honest, that's only a good thing, really. So fuck it. We might as well just buy supporters then. Um, impressed with piety as well. Let's just do whatever we can here. And of course, we can't hand in a paper right now. I want to try and switch the church. Maybe right now. So that deteriorates moral authority, but buying church influence is worth more. Hmm. I wonder if we want to reform the church. I wonder if we... I think we want to move away to warfare. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, but maybe we want to change our status to reform. So try and gain a bit of the moral authority. But to be honest, as long as we're doing crusades and things... Can I call a crusade? Is this something we can do right now? Um, Salamai... Uh, are we even... Yeah, we are in crusades here. Okay. Go into hiding. Customize appearance. Be okay, that's all pointless, isn't it? Can I call a crusade? How would I call a crusade? See, normally you would just right-click a ruler, say you were the filker or something like that. Right-click a ruler and then say declare war for or de declare great holy war obviously i actually have no idea maybe it is random to stop the player being able to abuse that i mean it's hard code to be random obviously because the pope doesn't actively search out targets or anything um yeah that's interesting i wonder i can't see any obvious button that would allow us to call a great holy war and obviously we can't interact with ourselves there either so yeah okay fair enough i i guess that will just happen when it happens Given that piety is actually a limiting factor here, money, prestige, we're good with. Piety is the, is the downside. So I'm going to go for theology focus. Can we also join... I mean, we've done everything with the Hermetic Society, right? We've written our Magnum Opus. We've got... Uh, do we get Scholar in the end? We've got Scholar. We've got Erudite too. There's no reason to really stay part of it because we also made the Blast Furnace, didn't we, right? Um, 
Yeah, advanced blast fun. We've done everything we can possibly do with the Hermetic Society right now. So I'm going to back out, and I think it would be better to join the Benedictine or the Dominican Order, assuming we can, as the Pope. I feel like that's a bit of a big dick play right there. Now, this is interesting. Prove yourself by fighting the excommunicated. And he has now gone to war for... He's gone to war against Pisa. Very nice. So now, really, what we want to do is declare our own war. This actually works out brilliantly. We want to declare war now, border dispute him, right? Take his province. Oh, we can't because we're now out of piety. Bollocks. But this would have worked by... I, I need to worry his moment to keep 300 piety in the bank. We could border dispute him. He'll be deposed. Then we can immediately border dispute his successor for the rest of Pisa. And basically take two counties very, very, very quickly. Is there any way I can swap some uh, some stuff for piety? Uh, it gives us 60 gold. Ask the theologians. Obviously not going to help. Um, God, I really want just the smallest amount of piety here. We could donate to a holy order, I guess. Found religious cult. I feel like... I feel like I'm going to renounce the secret faith. It's, it's a fun idea. Oh, we also gained 250 piety from that. Boom, there you go. Money in the bank right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and declare war against Pisa uh, for a border dispute for... Oh, what else do we need? Shit, we still need a little bit more cash. It's the tiniest little bit, so we'll just let some time tick for that one. There we go. Border dispute for this one, and then the cool thing is we'll have a border with, obviously, Pisa proper. Then we can go for that one next as well. Border dispute for Piombino, and let's get to work. Papal squad. Very nice. This I, I'm sort of seeing a, a pretty good gameplay mechanic here. Uh, and obviously, as rulers get as deposed, new ones will want to be crowned. So we can keep a nice system, keep everybody pitted against one another, and the papal see benefits. This could work out really, really nicely. So let's merge our armies. Let's get uh, Alarico on the center. My god, you're quite powerful. Sambor, Clegane, and then Alonso. Oh god, our commanders are a bit bad, aren't they? 10, 9, 29. I mean, the 29 guy is fantastic. Can I maybe double check on this one? Do you mind? Uh, look at this. We've got so many better candidates here rather than some of these crap ones. Um, sorry. I hope they're not upset about me sacking them, but they were garbage. Right, okay, fine. Um, do we, we don't really want to siege down the trade post, although it might allow us to build a trade post if we get lucky with it. So all of this is Pisa. Hang on, let's see if we can burn down their trade post in our provinces. I guess it doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, kill them dead. Who's this? This is the Knights of Sardinia at war with them. I wonder if they're at war with them as a... Can you yield the war to me? Uh, because I am the Pope, after all. Um, yep, thank you. You can buy indulgence. Maybe uh, they're at war over uh, an excommunicated ruler. Yeah, it is. Damn it, that's quite annoying. Um, shit, that's quite annoying. Because that means that we... They've basically beaten us to the punch here. Okay, so what I need to do in the future is obviously not... There we go. Okay, we've lost it now. That's a shame. We need to not declare war until... Get out of here. Until or not excommunicate them until we're ready to immediately follow up with the border dispute. And you're probably thinking that's oh, that's 1300 gold gone immediately. It's really not because the money we make as the Pope is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, it's kind of be to be uh, to be expected, really, isn't it? But whenever people ask for a coronation, we could say give us some gold. Whenever people ask us to baptize them, give us some gold. Hey, you want to pay? What is it? Papal in indulgence? They got to pay us for that as well. Like we're sitting on a cash cow here, so it, it's just finding the roads in. Like the, the Casus Belli is the really constricting thing for once. Byzantine. Holy War over Sicily. Um, what do you think about going to war with the Kaiser? 28,000. We could just hire a load of troops. It's a bit risky, but... I mean, being able to press du jour claims on him would be fantastic. Uh, what have we got? We've got claims on Ancona, Ferrara, Spoleto. I mean, that alone would like... We've got Papal Wars as well. What's a Papal War, then? Caspello to emulate Pepin the Shore by fighting to restore the Papal lands to its rightful owner. Uh... Infidel or impious Christians in central Italy. So he's excommunicated, which allowed us to obviously bypass a little bit of that there. If we win, we actually get moral authority. That's really interesting. We gain piety and prestige from this as well. Pepsi would claim all titles under the disputed title that are held by infidels and vassalize all titles held by Catholic rulers. Very good. Um, wow, so we've actually got a lot of Casas Belli now just by excommunicating this guy. Obviously, that's only going to happen in central Italy here. So I wonder if other people will be willing to join us because that might even count as a holy war. Given that it gives through percent moral authority. I wonder if we can call in, say, the Knights of Sardinia to come and give us a hand. I'm going to hold off on it for a second. We're going to build up a bit more cash first so I can hire mercenaries so that we're not panicking. Let the Byzantine Emperor beat him around a little bit as well. Then we'll come back into things. Bear in mind, we could take out a loan as well if we wanted to do that, but I did take a look in some of the files. Uh, if you have rivals in the College of Cardinals, with some of the Cardinal Deans especially, you lose influence, um, which makes a lot of sense. Obviously, the Pope is, up, uh, is an enemy of, of his Cardinals, so they're obviously not going to allow his influence over the Catholic Church so much. They're going to do whatever they can to stop him. we basically got 1,000 gold right now, so I'm pretty happy to go for that war. He's down to 17,000. What are the Byzantines looking at? 36k? We could just sit and wait and let the Byzantines kick the shit out of him a little bit more, but I mean, with 17,000 men, 
How many can we potentially hire? Also, I guess we get priority on the Holy Orders. Do they fight excommunicated rulers? That's something I honestly don't know. Um, as the Pope, we still have to pay piety and gold, which I think is ridiculous. But that's it. Can we offer them vassalization? I'm the Pope? No. Weaker than I am. They won't accept vassalization by the Pope. All right. Well, fair enough. Okay. So I'm starting to see where... Yep. Okay. That's absolutely 100% fine. Definitely not fucking corrupt. More importantly, we could hire the Roman legions for like two months, roughly there. 17,000 men. Um, and what was the difference again? We've got like 2,000. He's got 17,000. Ooh, this is going to be an expensive war. Um, let's wait for a next sort of major battle. See if we can knock his troops right down. It is good to be the papa. Uh, 22,000. Oh, shit. If we're quick, though, if we're fast, we might just be able to grab it like a smash and grab while he's off doing other shit. And again, people might join us. I've no idea quite how it works. Um, let's just give it a go. Honestly, let's give it a go. What do you want to take? Probably Spoleto just so we can get a bit more of a... A bit more of a reasonable border there. Call in allies. Uh, can we just call in, like, call in him? Can I call the holy orders to arms? Call to arms. Yes, maybe. And uh, call to arms, maybe. Come on, join me. Of course, they will bless it. Yep, there we go. They will not join us at this time. The Knights of Sardinia. Are you kidding me? Pff, fucking excommunicate. No, okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. We want their help in the future. I mean, we might as, well, uh, might as well hold on to them for a little bit here. Okay, mercenaries then. I don't want to go too crazy with this. But I do want to make sure we get some good ones as well. Um, the Ventura Company are pretty good, aren't they? 1,162 crossbowmen, some heavy infantry, light infantry for sieging. Sure, welcome aboard. That gives us plenty of troops and plenty of money in the coffers to keep them going for a few months. We've still got to be very, very fast, though. That is interesting. Venice is offering us a marriage for 206 gold with our niece. Um, I'm going to allow that. Because the 206 gold will actually obviously help us win this war for a start. Why don't we also double check just to make sure all of our dynasty members are married off? So, uh, married, no, adult preferably, yes. It's just us and Sambo still, fine. And is our dynasty still going okay? 12 of the members, yeah, I was kind of hoping for more members than that. People are just dying of disease, yeah, we've got pneumonia, we've got pneumonia and the dreaded plague. Norbert's uh, 15 though, so he's 7. Borislav is married off, so we've just got to hope for him to eventually have a kid there. All right, it's not it's not too bad. I think we should be okay. Sorry, did that say it's gone from corrupt to thriving? Wow. Um, okay, never mind then. I was saving up the, the points to try and obviously reform the church there a little bit, but that's okay. C church currently... Maybe that's because we specifically launched a war to try and take back the papal lands. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's because we have a, an okay amount of prestige. Maybe it's because the... I don't know, the Cardinals approve us. I wish I knew how that system worked a little bit more. Might just be purely random, of course, like China is. Big of the devil. There we are. Got Zello Dirt. Very nice. Oh, shit. We slept with Emmerich, my half-brothers. Oh, because he was not going to have kids anytime soon. Let's be honest. Minus 20% with that one. He's a lunatic. I imagine she's not a big fan of him there. Boom. Emmerich thinks little Got Zello is his. That's really nice. To Are you a my nephew? Perfect. That's abs absolutely incredible. Premium Borgia territory. Right, let's go for Thrift on you, and I'll make sure you are being... Uh, obviously educated as soon as possible as well. Let's look for a... What have we got? We've got patient, diligent. Uh, diligent. We actually do. Okay, Alessandro, if you could edu educate Godzello. And then if we end up playing as him, like I said, I'll rename him there. Nice. That's, uh, that's another one in the bag. We've got 18,000 Holy Roman armies kicking around there. Now, I'm going to wait for them to get a little bit closer. And if they do come for our troops, we retreat back to Rome. We hire the Romans. We merge them together. And then hopefully, while their army is still movable locked, we can move in and kill them. That way, we're not paying for... We do, the, the, the Romans aren't bad, but we don't want to be paying for them for months and months and months on end, obviously. Otherwise, that's going to be hideously expensive, right? That's exactly what we were banking on right there. So let's retreat out. We're going to hire the Romans, like I said. Uh, so let's go for Roman legions. They're going to cost us 787 gold, 110 a month. So even now, we can hold them for five months. That's going to outnumber him quite severely. No, you weren't supposed to go that direction. That was not anticipated, really. Um, let's get you there. I do want to kill his troops, but... Okay, I'm going to take the plunge here, seeing as we've got the money to do it. We know roughly where his troops are, right? Sacred Text Illuminate me. Very good. He's actually becoming a fairly decent Pope now. Right, let's see if we can spot his troops somewhere. So let's get his Spymaster out, get some reports. Um, Where did his troops go? Are they in Ravenna? Have we got sight on Ravenna? Maybe we don't. I'm pretty sure they went this way, didn't they? Where the fuck did they go? Maybe they went back south? Um... Where's my money? Yeah, of course we're going to say that because we've got the Roman side now. Where is he? Is he all the way up there? Um, our guys have actually come... Oh, so the, the Knights Templar are sending a lot of troops. Um, he's leading troops there. Let's see if we can track down where his commanders are leading troops. Uh, we got this guy, Gunther. 
So he must be all the way up there. He actually covered quite a lot of ground very, very quickly then. Holy shit. Found him. Uh, they got all the way back to here. How have we lost war score? How have we lost this much war score? Battle of Lansha? Schwandorf? What are you talking about? We've got their provinces occupied, you fool. Well, let's hope that this works. Um, this is not going to be a fun battle, is it? I think this one's probably a loss. Uh, we'll give it a go only because, yeah, look, we've almost got equal numbers. It's going to rely entirely on our commanders here. Luckily, our commander's much better, but they're mercenaries. So this is going to be very, very hit and miss. Oh, it absolutely is. Ooh, wow. This is going to be close. I think we've got him, though. Shit, down to the wire there. Very nice. Um, and how much did that battle count as? Great. 17% for wiping out his troops. Are you kidding me? Uh, we might as well track him down then. So we've got the Pisan army there. Wait, Pisa are attacking? Okay, fair enough. Um, so we are heading south to meet his army. Very nice. So that's that dealt with. We could always gun for his capital, but I do think the war goal will be a lot better. Although, what well, we've got the Romans up here. Ooh, we're not going to be able to fall them for much longer. Shit. Um, I'm going to borrow some money. I'm going to borrow some money, flip the Temple Vassal modifier into just a general opinion, which, to be honest, might be slightly better for us. Let's get the Romans to siege down his capital, see if that shuts him up. And this is a good shout, because he's got barely any troops here. Stole his hides. Very nice. Okay, we stole his jewelry and his spices. That'll pay for it. That'll pay for it. All we've got to do is sell it off after the wall's done. Okay, boom. Capital sieged. He's got 12,000 men still somewhere. Oh, there they are. I wonder if we can catch him in time. Come on. Let's see if we can chase him down here. Uh, a stigmata, I'm blessed by God. That's always a good sign. Oh, have we got him? We've got him. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, finish off the last of his armies. 20% still. We've got to get rid of these fucking Romans. I'm going to drop the... <sighs> Do we want to, though? I mean, we've still got fire and six go. We could hold him for another three months or so. He's got 13,000 men still? Where are you getting these fucking guys from? All oh, my allies. Holy shit, they actually did. Grandmaster Switzelm. You, my friend. Is there anything I can do for you? Can I... Man, I wish there was some, like, papal blessing I could confer to this man, because he is a, he's a phenomenal fighter right there. 50% war score. We've got the whole thing sieged down. Equal battle war score. And we took his capital. How is this so... Okay. Um, I guess we'll just siege down some other shit then, for the fun of it. And we possess all of this, do we? Oh, technically we possess none. It's our allies, but that shouldn't make any difference. Where's my money, please? Uh, they're selling the jewelry. Look, I told you these Romans would pay for themselves. Okay, he's dropping more troops in Rome. My god. Okay, this is going to be a real long-term war then. We've just got to make sure his armies are small enough to be manageable with hopefully a mercenaries that aren't the, the Romans. Otherwise, it's going to be horribly expensive. You know, here's the best use of the Romans. Just throw the bodies out the wall. Uh, Dean Leonello wants some money. Dean Leonello can fuck off. I didn't think the whole point of the church was for money. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so just a bit more sieging will do. And, of course, the more we siege down, the more Romans we kill off, the less we have to pay them. So this this works extremely well for us, then. Win-win uh, either way. 809 gold. We're going to come out of this with a, a nice chunk of change as well. This is fantastic. And this is arguably the hardest war we're going to fight because, of course, now we've grabbed a little bit of land. That's some extra troops. Going to make them slightly weaker in the future. Granted, we've just got to kind of outpace him and hope he doesn't take anything else in holy wars or whatever else we're looking at here. Temperate? We actually might genuinely end up being a good pope if we're not careful. And 100% just he sent in troops there to counter siege. Very nice. Look at that. We are starting to get back ourselves some papal lands. Very good. Finger of St. John has been removed from our treasury. I guess it was a, a, a fake one, a second one, an imposter. So we've also got a, a pouch of spices we can sell. Bundle of hides we can sell. We've picked up some horse armor. Speaking of which, we've got to rename the fucking horse. I can't believe I've forgotten again. I don't know what I expected. Last, last episode's comments was me uh, apparently yeeting the, the crown prince of Denmark. And then the episode before that, the highest rated comment for what we should name the horse is Bigger Stickers. Which, to be honest... It's a callback more than anything else at this stage. I think we've we've taken it from Monty Python. You hear that, John Cleese? Get the fuck. This is mine now. So I've I've have stolen, co-opted. Oh, we already had horse army, you moron. Personal combat skill plus ten gives uh, plus thirteen. General opinion plus two for reasons. Sama so is both effective and ceremonial. Very nice. Okay, cool. We got to that one then. Uh, that one does lower movement speed, but it's not exactly us riding the horse, so I don't really mind so much. Why weren't we leading our troops into battle? We've got 20 marshal, biggest dickers. We've got Thrandell, which of course we can't we can't wield, but that would be awesome. We're going to make a full-blown battle pope. No, we can't. We made a battle grandma last series. Maybe I could make a battle pope. We've seen him before. We've heard of the legends. I could be persuaded. So there's quite a strong argument, actually, in yesterday's uh, comment that we could... Along with doing this, now what we'll do is we'll wait until we've got all of our papal claims done first because, of course, we can call in the Knights Templar. We can call in the the Knights wherever else that we wanted to call in there. Um, not to start in here in theory if they weren't being bitches. We can call in all of the Holy Orders and actually help them. And, and they alone basically won that war for us, to be honest with you. 
call those guys in and actually conquer as much as possible. Now, what happens when we run out of Paper Wars? I think at that stage, that's when we would swear fealty to the HRE. Then we could swallow up the HRE from inside. Uh, we could press claims against the Italian king. Now, there isn't one right now. Hmm, that's a good point. There isn't one right now. Um, you can even make the kingdom of Italy. Don't you have to be Italian to do that? Special title, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, we can't actually check, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But we can press uh, claims or, or or anything, really, on equal level title. I mean, it would just basically give us an easier time within the HRE. Because that means, if there's no King of Italy, that means this guy's a direct liege and we'd be a direct liege. So we could declare war on Ancona rather than declaring war on the Emperor. Which would make our lives so much easier. And that applies to all the various duchies in Italy as well. Uh, Padua is the same story. He's directly under the HRE. He is as well. Who's the yeah, Medina? It, it's all the same thing that we'd be able to declare war directly on these guys rather than the Emperor himself. That's a good idea. We're going to do that. The other thing as well that was suggested, which I was kind of alluding that to at the start of the episode, was going for that great holy war, set one of our dynasty members as the beneficiary, and then hopefully we win. But we can't do that. I, I don't know how we declare a holy war. I'll have to look into that, see if there's a system for it. Today's been pretty good, though, in terms of the uh, in terms of the expansion. We've really clapped him. Wouldn't that be a... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a shot? We're like, we're going to declare war, take all these lands. Now it's time to swear fealty. Oh, we got the one day modifier in Rome as well. Oh, from that fucking blast furnace. Right, okay. Um, In that case, we're, not, we're never, ever going to be able to build ourselves up to the extent that we'll be able to compete with a feudal ruler. But we can at least build ourselves... I mean, that gives tax again. Tax is kind of irrelevant when we are... When 90% of our money is coming from other sources. Monastic school. Technology spread rate. Piety to lead. I mean, piety is obviously quite good, so we'll go for that one. Temple shipyard uh, will eventually give tech points. But for anything that gives piety, to be honest with you. Piety to lead again. We'll roll with that one. Church fortifications will allow us to build higher levels. Go for a basic road. Some church fortifications there as well, then. Um... I suppose we could go for, like, the brewery. Trying a little bit of cash back. Oh, nice. So, from our last... Attempts at writing a theological article. We got a good one. So I believe that's the best outcome. We might as well roll with that and keep it for ourselves then. Um, I'm kind of thinking we might want to start shifting our... Shifting our goods downstream. So start gifting all the artifacts to our brother. Uh, ugh, God, I don't know if it's worth it though. Because he might inherit it anyway. But I do believe it would stay within the papal... I, I think it's probably safe to say it will stay within the papal... Um, the, the papal system, right? Could we potentially get him? I wonder if we could get rid of old Guy Fieri over here and see if we could get our brother to be the elected successor anyway. Uh, Sample the drunk. Ooh, that's not... Probably not, considering he's a fat, hedonist, glossful, cruel, ambitious, deceitful idiot. Um, great. Okay, almost as good as us, to be fair. My god, how have we fucked this generation of our dynasty so much? Uh, Proves up by fighting the excommunicated. No, for, I'll, take, I'll take the gold in this situation. Look at that. That was like 250 gold right there. Um... Yeah, I mean, this guy is possessed, cruel, lunatic, just everything is fucked. His brother, I mean, our our half-brother, Cardinal Sambor, also fucked. And then our other brother is a complete bug-eyed freak. So this has just gone fantastic. <gasps> I assume he died then. I assume he's gone. Well, it worked, luckily. We're still playing a member of Faust Dia, so we've got that going for us. Unfortunately, we did lose the artifacts, as to be expected. My god, there was no warning. There was no warning, there was no fanfare, no decorum. We were just fucking gone. That's it. And it, I mean, you've, you've seen exactly what I've seen. The Holy Seers had uh, stolen all of our fucking artifacts, whatever. Stolen our horse. Stolen our horse. Um, Travel to Rome immediately. Do you think we could bribe the election again? Maybe get ourselves put back on the throne. That would be pretty nice. May God be with me. We are in the conclave. So now I can speak to the other cardinals and like request their vote, can I? Think about declining the papacy. No, no, no. I want to I wanna get there. Oh, right. That was us. Ask for his vote. So is anyone voting for us right now? Fieri, Fieri, Fieri. Okay, so everyone's voting for him, the preferatus. Um, he'll say, why don't we just ask everybody who will say maybe? I think everybody's going to refuse. Oh, no. Yeah, there's no chance now. We'd have to get a vote. I mean, bear in mind, everybody is voting for him, even us. So... I guess we'll go for it. I'm sorry. We've lost the artifacts, but there's not much I can do there. Uh, votes have been cancelled, but again, no one has a majority more than four votes. We'll have to cast our votes again. Whoa. Interesting. They flipped their votes then. Um, I want to become my pope myself. I believe that... Is everybody gunning for the... Uh, I want to become pope myself. Everybody is gunning for the election themselves. So nobody's voting for one another. Is this going to be a papal deadlock? Uh, this guy... This guy's more likely... So, this is Cardinal Ferry of Benevento. So, this is the actual guy who is preferatus, but he's the only guy not thinking he himself is going to be elected. That's fucking weird. Um, can I vote for myself? Is that at all possible? Uh, we can only decline it. I guess the vote is automatic as well, so we can't scum it up here. Um, 
Answer to vote, no. Believe I can win the elections. It's minus 1,000. Damn, this is a bit janky. It's minus 10 if they believe they can come become Pope themselves. So why don't I send off gifts and just see if they'll accept after that? They will after that. Ooh, I wonder if we can do this. I wonder if we can do this. Oh my god, the papacy took on our debt. Not us. But w I wonder if then when we take over the papacy's debt, our personal debt is cancelled. Interesting. Okay, I'm in. Um, ask for his vote. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bribe everyone. Fuck this. We are, we are, we are Pope. We are poping it up again. Give, give him that. Uh, I suppose I, no, I should have really not bribed him because he was obviously never gonna go for it. So anybody with the minus ten, okay, not you. Anybody with the minus ten, we can almost certainly do it. Okay, fuck you as well. Although we might have already done it already. So this guy's fine. Uh, ask for his vote. Still no. I like you. I like you. Minus ten. That doesn't add up. <laughs> it does not add up at all. All right, whatever. Um. Send him a gift. Ask for his vote. No, fine. Uh, send him a gift. And then I've already asked this guy for his vote as well. Okay, fine. How about some gold? Uh, I need a trustworthy Dean. I need a trustworthy Dean. So be it. That's bad news. Come on. If you're already thinking of voting for me, you would make a great Pope. Yes, yes, I would. Uh, we're trying to sway this guy, which I'm just not going to bother anymore. I don't have time for him. Come on. That's all I can do, I think. I, th I think I've asked for everybody who I can. Uh, I'll just go through very quickly again. Just make sure. Yeah, this isn't going to happen, is it? Go on then. We've got two votes guaranteed. Are we Pope? Are we Pope? This takes longer than I thought. But this time around, we got two votes. Okay, so we're getting there a little bit, even though it still says those. I guess they're, this is who they would automatically vote for if they weren't being swayed then. Um, ask for his vote, maybe. Okay, let's try. Have I got to try again, perhaps? Uh, ask for his vote, no. Fuck, I don't know why that one's not working. Um, what if we, like, assign him a guardian? What, what if we assign him... Uh, his opinion of us is increased by 10. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh. After a long night, Cardinal decided that only getting zero votes clearly shows that he's no longer... Okay, so Amido the Giving could potentially vote for us now then. Oh, that's a cool system. God oh, damn, still nothing. Still nothing. That's two rounds. Uh, this guy's also decided to give up. Okay, we're apparently plotting against this guy as well, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that one if you don't mind. That's our vassal. Right, interesting. Worst case scenario is we're a... We're a I mean, a high-ranking, we're, we're an Archiepiscopus Cardinal under the Pope directly. So we'd still be a very powerful member of the papacy there. Uh, right, so he's also bowed out. Let's see if... Oh, he's our rival. Well, he's fucking never going to vote for us, is he? He might. What are you talking about? <laughs> Send him a gift then. Okay, ask for his vote. Right, let's try again. Round three. I think I've got three votes this time, right? No, he's not up for it anymore. Fuck me. Come on. Can I vote for myself? This is never going to end. This is actually never going to end. It's a papal deadlock. Oh, I got three votes this time. Holy shit, we are ever closer. Come on, please. One of you is gonna. One of you is gonna bend. Oh, he's he's also backing out. Uh, so if they keep backing out, surely we're just gonna be the only logical option, right? Um, so ask for his vote. No, he's still saying no. Our rival is still saying maybe. Um, we'll try it. We might have to bribe him with something though. Ask for his vote. He's still saying no. This is so tedious, but I get it. You are trying to become the most powerful, you know, religious head on the face of the planet right now. Still nothing, huh? No way. Is this the kid we yeet at? No, it's not. I thought that was the kid we threw at the ground. Um, Magnus Billung. Okay. Uh, so they've decided to declare war for the title that we just took. Uh, apparently, he's a new upstart king. Where the hell has he come from? Did you land this guy specifically to take back the province that we just took, you fuck? Sardinia and Corsica. That's not where either of those things are. Still only three votes. This is just never-ending. Oh my god, it's a majority of more than four votes. Damn it, I thought it was exactly four votes. We've got four votes, though, because another guy has just bowed out. So it's between us and, like... Actually, I don't even know who's left. So this guy bowed out, this guy bowed out. I guess it's Aldrich of Trent? Oh my god. Uh... More than a year has passed since we came together to elect a pope, and we still haven't done it. The people grew so frustrated with the deadlock that they eventually locked us in our rooms, giving us only bread and water. No. Come on, you're going to kill us all, you fools. At least our guy's, you know, like an absolute heifer. So can, is it going to be a starving competition? We just got to outstarve all the other cardinals at this point. Right, come on. Maybe. Okay, he's a maybe again. He's a no. I, I think some of the no's are people who are already voting for us, right? Come on. Cannot vote for me. Fuck off. Okay. I'm I'm happy. To, I'm going to outstarve them all. I, I, will, I will live. <gasps> Thank you. Holy shit. My God. I had to bankrupt us so much. I had to keep re repeatedly bribing people. The votes have been counted. And I cannot believe it. I've been elected with four votes. How did that work? 
Hang on. Wait, maybe I didn't have to bribe this people. We got four votes this time. There we are. Uh, of course, the cardinals vote for me on the lowborn souls to earn me the money to pay for the votes. Thank God. We are now... Uh, pa -pa -pa. We are now back to being... Pa -pa -pa -pa. The Holy Spirit made his choice. Definitely not my massive wallet. And we've got... Oh my God, he's back. My son, Biggest Dickers, is returned. Um, wow, we've become king of the papal states. We've been crowned by Cardinal Dean. Shit. Well, here we go. Once again, and we're about to die immediately. You can fuck off with that. I'm not all is lost here. So we didn't actually get our brother to be our successor. Uh, because there was that sort of interregnum period where we were trying to do votes, and I guess our successor didn't stick. So, luckily, now that we're Pope, we're able to elect Norbert as our direct successor, right? So that way we can... And Norbert is like a member of our dynasty, and he's, he's what, like 21? He's also pretty good, patient, diligent. Uh, he's got charming, groomed. He could be a very, very good, like an actual legitimate Pope who, who try and patches up some of the corruption we've brought about here. We've done a good job. Uh, the only issue is now I've got to defend the Papal States, which is going to be... Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. He hired the... Well, we've got the Papal God. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got a fucking mercenary band. I didn't even notice. Why did I hire Romans? We've got these guys, for fuck's sake. Okay, fair enough. Um... I shouldn't have disbanded them. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, right. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's leave it here for today. Today's been very politics heavy and dealing with the HR and whatnot. Tomorrow, hopefully we can finish tidying up the rest of our papal claims. And then after that, we'll swear fealty to the HRE, and then we'll just do a load of busting from the inside. We can go up through the society. We can go vassal to vassal to vassal, plink around. If we do get any holy wars, I want to try and land some of our dynasty members as feudal characters, right? Otherwise, we're not going to be able to maintain the power. Right now, we are kind of fluking it a little bit. As our next character, we might have to go on the seduction focus and try and have a whole generation of bastards again, like we did with our first character, to ensure some dynastic stability. And our new Patreon system is in effect, so if your names are missing from this list, or if you, I've messed something up, like got the wrong name or something like that, get in, get in touch with me as soon as possible. I'll make sure that is updated ASAP. In the meantime, a thank you to our insane top tier level patrons, including Darth Hawk, Monkey, Varagon, Zazzy711, Goglas, Anthony Gawley, Zetlock, Aromatic Fool, Limpy George, Justin Wallace, and everybody else on your very fine, nice, and good screen right there. I think we need to rename the Jerry King's nice and good list. Anybody even know what that's from anymore? And a shout out to the other patrons as well, including Wilson Attack. Justin Rules, William H, Erotha, Dranmere, Wesley C, Volta, Sweet C, Panthbell, Silkworm, Mythomatic, Blood for the Blood God, Jackson P, Dunk on two and seven, and Tony L. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you all for making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you to everyone else over on Patreon as well. Thank you to you at home for watching. See you all tomorrow for further adventures of Papal Popal Poping. <laughs>